This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, July the 12th, coming up on the middle of July. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and the first big news is that we do have a heat advisory in effect for parts of southern and western sections of central Alabama. And uh, the graphic from the National Weather Service, I think, describes it best when you see the uh, orange areas outlined there that uh, are covered by the heat advisory with heat indices expected to be in the 100 to 105 range. Not exactly extreme heat, but certainly heat that we should take into account and use some common sense with. The uh, sky cam from Birmingham this morning showing we do have a few passing clouds and uh, we do have a front that's nearby, but it's washing out and not expected to become much of a factor. Uh, as we see, most of the weather is going to stay off to our north and northeast. We're watching uh, thunderstorms move through the Ohio River Valley this morning, uh, but the big factor in our weather pattern is this upper ridge. So look for a similar day to yesterday as uh, we have another warm day. We're starting the day out around the mid-70s for most locations. Uh, the, uh, the northeastern part of the state still dipping back to the upper 60s, which is nice for those folks. Heat advisories have expanded. We mentioned this yesterday uh, that uh, we kind of expected that they would expand, and they have uh, over a good portion of the lower Mississippi River Valley and up into the uh, uh, Midwest and the Plains states. QPF-wise, as you might expect with that upper ridge over Texas, uh, they're not going to get much rain over the next five days, and much of the rain is going to stay in a band from uh, extreme um, eastern North Dakota down to the mid-Atlantic states and to the Carolinas, where uh, the bulk of the traveling westerlies are going to be producing weather. And the Storm Prediction Center is out looking a moderate risk for today across uh, parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Uh, with an enhanced risk around that area. And then day two, Monday, a moderate risk comes down into the Ohio River Valley and uh, parts of Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. And then on day three, the uh, risk drops back to an enhanced but is centered over eastern Tennessee as we see uh, the possibility of a few more clouds and some uh, better rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday for uh, parts of uh, North Alabama. We may see some isolated severe thunderstorms. And the tropics, uh, we do have a small area of cloudiness off the North Carolina coast uh, that is not expected to develop anything as it moves away from the coast. And over in the Pacific, as we mentioned yesterday, we expected that one of those two areas to develop, and it has. The area closest to Mexico has developed and become Dolores. And Dolores is expected to become a major hurricane over the next uh, week or so as we head out to Wednesday and Thursday. But it is, is expected to remain in the Pacific. And looking further out in the Pacific, tropical storm Shan Hom uh, has skirted uh, the coast of China and is now weakening as it's approaching Korea, but it, it has been a sizable typhoon. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run this morning, and uh, there's a look at uh, today, and once again, just like yesterday, we'll see if some isolated showers. The main focus on our weather is uh, the, the large upper ridge over Texas, but also we are watching the disturbances that are moving around the northeastern periphery of that ridge. And uh, they will continue to move across uh, the Great Lakes area and the Ohio River Valley uh, Monday. And so once again, there's, uh, that's where the uh, moderate risk of severe weather is a possibility up there in uh, parts of Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky that SPC has outlooked for day two. The uh, risk area stays there Tuesday as we see another substantial short wave that is moving through the flow that is helping to dampen the ridge just a little bit, but keeping the ridge over Texas. So uh, we expect the showers and thunderstorms to expand a little bit uh, on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday as we get into uh, the, the effects of that pattern. By Wednesday, uh, that short wave is moving off the mid-Atlantic states and uh, moves out into the Atlantic on Thursday as the ridge moves back into our area. And the result is that we're getting back to isolated showers and thunderstorms for the latter part of the week. Uh, daily occurrences with the heat of the afternoon. Friday, the ridge is still over the lower Mississippi River Valley. And it stays that way on Saturday. So not much change, unfortunately, in the overall weather pattern. But hold on. Don't, 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 uh, don't get lost in it yet. Uh, we see by Sunday, a week from today, 
that the GFS is now beginning to shift the ridge a little further to the west, and that means that we may see a little more weather for the start of uh, voodoo country or getting out into the long range, as the GFS by the 21st of July has a very substantial trough over the eastern third of the country, just like we saw uh, back in June. So um, another uh, repeat, possibly, of at least some break in the heat. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for uh, this edition. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the AlabamaWX.com blog for later updates on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.